Hello, I'm Mark with CSintel.com and today we're learning the basics of the selection and the direct selection tools. The Illustrator selection tool is for selecting objects such as shapes and type. When selected, you can use the tool to move and transform objects. Basically, the selected object is the one you are currently working on. Use the shape tools and create some shapes. Next, choose the selection tool, which is the first tool in the Illustrator toolbar. You can also use the keyboard shortcut V to automatically select a tool. The cursor will change to the black arrow. Select any object by clicking it. A bounding box will surround the object. Notice the cursor changes when hovering over the selected object. To move the object, click and drag it to anywhere on the artboard. Once an object is selected, any colors or effects applied will only affect the selected object. To resize an object, select any of the white squares in the corner or along the sides of the bounding box. Notice the cursor changes to a double arrow. Click and drag the square to resize the object. To resize an object while keeping its proportions, hold down the shift key while dragging one of the corner squares. This is useful when resizing text, as it is often not a good idea to stretch or squish type. To rotate the object, position the cursor just outside one of the corner squares until the cursor changes to a curved double arrow. Click and drag to rotate the object. Hold down the shift key to rotate it at 45 degree intervals. To select or deselect more than one object, hold down the shift key while clicking on any number of shapes, type, or other objects on the stage. Another option is to click on an empty part of your layout and drag a box around multiple objects. The bounding box will now surround all the objects. You can now move, transform, or rotate the objects together. As with one object, the group of selected objects will be affected by color and filter changes. The direct selection tool allows you to do a lot of cool things. Shortcut to use is A. Select an object. You will see a slight difference when you select an object with this arrow. No longer do you have eight transform boxes around the box. Where each line segment ends, you will see a point. For instance, a triangle will give you three points, a square will give you four, and a star will give you ten points. The direct selection tool allows you to edit and move individual points on a vectored object for more tedious manipulation. This tool will also come in handy when you only want to select one object that has been grouped. Remember to subscribe and visit our site csintel.com for more tutorials.